Also, I'm sorry, we're closed today. Okay, thank you, goodbye. Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Inside BMW Group Classic. Today, we're here at the BMW Museum to meet the man behind the museum. His name is Dr. Andreas Braun. There's no person who knows more about this place than him. Let's go and try and find him. Andreas, you're the curator of the museum. This is basically the center of it. Um, tell us a bit about this building. In 73, we only had a round building, the so-called bowl. And then in 2000, the BMW board realized that that is not enough. We need more space. BMW made a decision that that must be the flat building between the headquarter and the current museum. So what had to go? What was in here before? Inside, we had a visitor center, technical uh, facilities, mm -hmm. and what was very important, a parking area for the upper management, and the upper management was not amused. I can imagine. Personal parking spots are a very sensitive topic in every large corporation. In Germany, we have a special institution which protects historical buildings, and they also had an eye on that building, the so-called Denkmalschutz. Okay. And um, they allowed us only to tear out the two levels inside made by concrete. And this was also only possible because of the two columns that you can see inside. They are really still original and they support the ceiling and everything. Andreas, this installation is one of my favorites. What's the thought behind all these backplates? Christopher, I'm sorry, I have to correct you. Don't call it installation, it's more than that. It's an artwork, it's a masterpiece. Since the 70s, BMW cars are identified in the back only by numbers and letters. Right. And they tell you everything about the engine. We have every model combined here in that artwork. You guys even took the time to show what colors had the highest take rate. If you look in the very back in the 1970s, there's green, there's orange, there's blue. And if you look today, except from a couple of M models, everything else is blue, gray, silver, anthracite gray. It has really changed. That's a very cool piece of art. This is the three series room, or as we call it, the Dreierraum, which this place all the generations of BMW's 3 Series. Among all these beautiful cars, there's one which is special. You're absolutely right. One person we have to talk about is Max Reisberg. He was a BMW employee and I met him two years ago and he told me a wonderful story. Max Reisberg had a family, a wife and two children. And every year they wanted to start into a holiday and all the time there was lack of space in their car. Max Reisberg got the idea to transform the shape of the saloon into an estate. He had the knowledge, he had the tools, and then it really was enough space. They had a wonderful holiday, and then he came back to Munich. Max Reisberg drove the car to work. The upper management was informed. Even the board conference was interrupted. And Eberhard von Kuhnheim decided that type of car must be produced as a separated line. We call it the Touring. And today, the Touring model is one of our economically most successful products in the whole range. This was um, on a private initiative. And if you look at uh, BMW 3 Series or 5 Series Tourings today, it seems like they've always been there, but they haven't been. What you see here is the clay model of uh, BMW G20, which is the newest 3 Series. I guess we can agree that Max didn't have that much clay in his garage when he created the E30 Touring. I want to thank Andreas for joining us today. I hope he will do this again soon. I want to thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and tune in again for a new episode of Inside BMW Group Classic. Yeah.